Hey everyone, I recently posted a video about the problem I had with my new speakers. So I had these new active KRK Rocket 5 speakers. Um, so the difference between active and passive speakers are that active speakers have an amp built into them um, like per speaker. So that speaker there has its own amplifier, that speaker there has its own amplifier, which means they're powered by a socket each. Um, I don't recommend this if you have limited socket space, but I seem to have enough, so I was all right. The problem with this is I was having what was called a ground loop between my graphics card and the speakers themselves. So I'm not sure if it came across all right in the last video. Um, some people kind of couldn't hear it because they were probably using laptop speakers. So I'll try and emphasize that a bit more as to the problem I was having. So what was going on was as far as I can understand it, there was interference between the graphics card and it was taking the signal through the ground into my external sound card here, which is an M Audio M track. I'm trying to get another one, but it, this is what I'm using for now. It's an external graphics card, external graphics card. It's an external sound card. It's powered by USB only, it does not have its own power supply. That might have been able to ground it if it was powered somehow, but I, I don't have one to test it. So I had to find an alternative. So what was happening was it was being passed into here, into the sound card and going through my cables into the amplifiers or into the speakers and then going back down into the cable or in, into the, the mains and causing a loop between the graphics card and the speakers. Uh, that's as far as I can understand it. If it's not how it works, please correct me, but it seems to be related to the graphics card because every time I done something that required intense graphics processing, it would interfere. So I'll emphasize that for you um, now. To do that, I'm just going to load up a game. I'm going to choose Dishonored and yeah, I'll record the speakers. So as you can hear, when I move the mouse or do anything different, um, the tone of the interference changes slightly with what's on the screen. This means it's linked to a graphics uh, problem. Um, you can rule this out by unplugging your monitor. Uh, mine's going in through a uh, display port, but it also um, done the same, had the same problem when I was going in through VGA or DVI or and or HDMI. So any sort of thing like it's. If, if it's going through a cable to a monitor, then it's causing this. Um, if you unplug your monitor, it, the noise will stop, but that's because the graphics card isn't sending it anywhere, so it doesn't have to render anything. Uh, at least that's as far as I can tell. I don't know if it will render anything if there's no input to send it to. So that's just what I've discovered from unplugging things and experimenting trying to fix this issue. You can also hear that there's a constant low noise hum that's going on, which is the passive ground loop that's happening. Um, this will also be fixed in the next step. So first I'll have to apologize for the lighting. Um, it's getting a bit late here in England and the lighting set tends to go quite quickly. So this is the setup I had where it was causing interference. You can probably still hear it in the background. Maybe, I don't know. See, it's... But what's going on is we have my sound card and we have the left output which is going into the speaker so this is a balanced cable and it's going directly into the back of this rocket krk or Ro krk rocket 5. if i move around to the back you'll be able to see it's going into the balanced connection however it is an unbalanced cable you can tell it's an unbalanced cable by the amount of black rings that are on the end of the trs Focus, this is getting difficult. So you can see one black ring. If this had two black rings, you'll know it's a balanced cable. Balanced cables help reduce the noise anyways. So I went initially to help resolve this, I went for these XLR cables. So I have a TRS to XLR, which went into here. This sort of helped. But the main thing that helped solve this issue was this Behringer noise destroyer here. So we have an input and an output for left and right channels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this connection from my sound card, plug it into the left channel of the hum destroyer, and then that's going to go into the left channel of the speaker, or it's going to go into the left speaker. It's already set up for the right one. And you will also notice when I plug it this in, or well, you may have already noticed, if I can do it with one hand, 
that I have put some electrical tape around the metal contacts of some of these cables. Now the reason I've done this is because the signal is coming through but it's touching these contacts and each one of these contacts is touching each other. So the ground loop it was still traveling through these cables even though this was here the ground loop was still coming through and due to the, the metallic nature of these contacts was still looping through into the speakers. If I tape this up the noise is gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same test again, plug this in, run Dishonored and I'll show you the noise level. You'll probably be able to hear me um, through the back end of the microphone, but absolutely silent. Let's continue. and nothing. I can play in perfect quiet. So this was a very annoying and difficult problem to solve. I went through several options um, as well as a mains isolator. I arranged things differently on my wall sockets. I unplugged monitors and I just went through an insane amount of things, including driver setup and whatnot, just trying to solve this issue that I was having because it just seemed weird going from a passive setup to an active setup that this would happen. Um, fortunately, this solved the issue for me. It's called a Behringer HD 400, I believe, Hum Destroyer. You can find it on Amazon. Uh, mine cost me about £20, probably $25, $30, although exchange rate nowadays with Brexit on, on you know you're probably looking at 30 pounds I don't know just making jokes not working um, but yeah that's what solved the ground loop for me if you have any questions let me know I'll happily answer them in the comments but yeah thanks very much for watching